Hey guys, it's uh, Sean Sean here. I uh, just want to give you a tip for the day. Uh, this time I'm going to cover um, a book. Here, let me put it up here. This is um, Jackson Pollock. And it's um, written by Nyeth and Smith. Um, so the really interesting part about um, Jackson Pollock is, you know, he kind of grew up in the middle of nowhere. Um, and, you know, really poor kind of farming. They moved farm to farm. And so their family always wanted to kind of start a farm. So that's why he kind of had that cowboy connotation when he went to New York. Um, another thing you want to know is he studied under Benton, who's a famous uh, regionalist painter of the 30s. Um, and he kind of tried to really follow that genre. Um, he wasn't as great of a painter as far as that style. And also it was really interesting is... Uh, I think two of his brothers painted, but definitely one. Um, Charles was in New York, and he's kind of an illustrator, um, again, following kind of Benetton style. And, you know, he wasn't having as much success with his painting, and he kind of got rejected and just stayed with illustrator work. So he's a much better realist painter than, say, Jackson Pollock. However, Jackson was able to kind of break through. Um, you know, he had that one fortunate um, painting where he painted... He got this painting. It was basically a whole wall inside of someone's house. Huge painting. And, you know, he was totally... He couldn't think of what to paint. Couldn't think of what to paint. He just painted the whole thing on one night. So that's really kind of a mind-blowing feature. And it was first transition to action painting. Another important moment, uh, besides this competition with his brother over who's the better painter in the family, was, you know, he had a severe connection with alcohol. So he had severe alcoholism. And at some point, he cleaned up for five whole years. So right when he broke through uh, with um, action pain, just when he started to get there, he started to clean up with alcohol. So he started taking meds. And for five years, he was basically sober. Um, and then he had kind of another breakdown, um, more or less the end when he started drinking heavily again and kind of falling off the ladder was uh, he agreed to do this expose. And he, it was a really famous expose. He got a lot of fame. And then his career really kicked off. And at the end of that, the same person that had covered that said, hey, let's film your work. And so he kind of put a glass plate and filmed them, and he kind of did a fake painting on top of the glass. And Jackson Pollock felt like he was uh, kind of stealing his style. They did the same thing with Picasso, but Picasso didn't have a reaction to it. But with Jackson Pollock, he really felt like his soul was being absorbed by the camera, um, which is kind of true. I mean, you can definitely steal a lot of the techniques from an artist if you film yourself. So that's always a danger. Um so then you have to be more vigilant on copyright. But anyway, um, so that just sent him off the wagon. Um, he started kind of pulling back in some of his bent Benton kind of style, a little bit of realism, and it just was kind of wishy-washy. And he ended up um, ditching his girlfriend, um, Lena Pollock, or Lena Kras. I don't know, you look it up. But anyway, <laughs> she's another famous action painter who kind of... Um, she kind of put her artistic thing on hold while she marketed um, Pollock. So she kind of limited herself, which is really unfortunate, um, helping market Pollock. So she kept kind of Pollock together mentally. But then when he dumped her, then he was she was like, it's all over. And then she kind of, um, she started her own career then. She really launched as a career in action painting as well. Um, but kind of copying some of the ideas out of Pollock because she was obviously closely associated with but that was kind of the, you know, the beginning of the end for Pollock. Um, he had this new girlfriend. Things were working out. He's massively drinking again, and he got into a huge, um, you know, drinking and driving accident. Um, so I, I actually covered the film um, that's made from the book. But I, I highly recommend the book because you get really in depth. And nowadays with these autobiographies, it's really cool because you can look, um, you know, painting by painting through their career just using your iPhone right next to it and like, hey, look up. Pollock painting of Untitled One or whatever it is. So I highly recommend it. Thanks, guys.